Howdy. This is our fourth day in a row of sun and it's beautiful outside. So I decided to do this video outside. You know, when I was four years old, I did something that in retrospect was really stupid. I climbed up the outside of a three story building and then under barbed wire just to get to the roof. There was an easier way to do it, but at four years old, I didn't know there was an easier way to do it. And I also had no fear at four years old. Never occurred to me what the consequences would have been had I slipped and something had happened. It was just one of those kind of things that I did. Probably by age six, I had recognized just how dangerous that was. And I didn't try that kind of thing again. I say that because I know that I climbed up the building more than once, but by age six, I knew better. Usually, for most of us, there's a few ways we can learn that something is the wrong thing to do. One, we get an epiphany, says, hey, that was a bad thing to do, I probably shouldn't do that again. Two, something bad happens, and we learn from our mistakes. Or three, we learn from history something that someone else has done. We either hear a story about something and say, oh geez, that's a horrible thing to do. Or we read a book or we learn from history that there are certain things that you shouldn't do or you should change up how you do it. That's just how life is supposed to work. But life doesn't seem to work that way. I'm in the Syracuse area and over the last week or so, there's been the big story that's made national news we never seem to make national news for good stuff except for Syracuse basketball. <laughs> anyway, we had a sorority that got suspended and now has resulted in 18 of its students being kicked off of campus and out of school for not only doing a racial incident, but filming it and putting it on their quote unquote private Facebook page. And it turns out it wasn't just against minorities, it was against disabled people and a few other things. I have to admit, I didn't see either video, but it's out there if someone wants to go track it down. Now, as bad as that is, and as stupid as it is, the thing that's even stupider is that it turned out this is the fourth fraternity that was suspended <laughs> this year for inappropriate behavior. And I just find that incredible because even though all the fraternities and the sororities are in competition with each other, you would think that they would say, hey, you know what? Such and such fraternity got suspended. Maybe we need to not do that same type of behavior. Or maybe we should look, think about what it is we do and change things up. Boy, I'm really dark again, aren't I? Yeah, it's just life. But it didn't happen. And it prompted me to ask this general question. I wanna see if you guys think the same thing. What is it about most people, because it's not everyone obviously, that we can't learn from mistakes? Whether it's mistakes we make or it's mistakes that others make. Now, I really understand this part. There's a lot of people who hate history. They hate to read it. They hated it in school. I loved history. I loved history because I like to read about triumphs. I like to read about errors or stupidity because I wanted to learn what not to do and what people shouldn't do and what I shouldn't do. And I think that it has worked in my favor across the board because there's a lot of things I've never done because I realized just how stupid those things would be. But I just always wonder, what is it about people? You know, what is it about a criminal who sees someone do something that gets them landed in jail and decides, well, you know what, I'm gonna do that same thing, but I'm going to do it better and ends up doing the exact same thing. What is it about someone who sees how people are reacting badly to something that they did and they decide to do the exact same thing? You know, YouTube is replete with stuff like that. And I sometimes think that some bad behavior obviously is rewarded. I mean, Logan Paul, for instance, did a bad thing, did a stupid thing. It wasn't intentional, but he still did a stupid thing. And his YouTube channel grew 1.5 million. 
<laughs> you know, and YouTube, which had supposedly suspended him, has not only welcomed him back with open arms, but they've given him a new production deal. You know, sometimes I think people believe that no publicity is bad publicity, and sometimes it's rewarded, but at other times it's just stupid. It'll get you hurt, it'll get you killed, it'll get you fired from your job. People, we need to learn from mistakes. We all need to learn from mistakes. So, let me ask you, are you one of those people who has learned from your mistakes? Are you one of those people who doesn't care? You need to do things on your own and suffer on your own. And what about those people who we know seem to not learn anything from their mistakes? What do you think about those people? Anyway, my name's Mitch Mitchell. That's my question for you for today. I'm sorry about the lighting. So I'll end walking this direction so you can see me better. Although you might like the other shot a lot better. Let me know your thoughts. I'll talk to y'all later.